Hello everybody, it's me. Welcome back to the video. Now, in this video, it is time. Yesterday I said I was going to do hidden trait, not hidden trait, sharpen Zerzura, and I think I was doing my just roll showcase, and I'm gonna be gonna be checking out Sharpen Zerzura. But do you remember what I did at the start of the last showcase? <laughs> That's right. We're back. Okay. Um so to start we should get an outline of the bird uh okay let's make the head here with the beak and some eyes okay there we go and we'll make kind of a smaller body with really big wings okay and then we need to have talons Okay, and now we need to color it. I think it's blue. So let's increase the size a bit and give it some blue on its face. Uh, can I fill it actually? Wait, can I do that? <gasps> oh God, no, go back, stop. I don't want the whole thing to be blue. Okay, let's do this, this, this. And then what we're gonna do is sprinkle in some white because I know it has white in it right dude look how amazing this one is <laughs> dude I'm an artist okay and now let's fill in the beak to be yellow there we go and then I think there was some kind of like all right there we go Zerzura. Anyhow, hello everybody. It is me, and in this video, I am going to be taking a look at Zerzura. Now, honestly, I'm kind of excited to give this thing a sneak peek because before I, when I used Zerzura the first time, I was slightly underwhelmed. I won't lie. I think it's probably because I fought a bunch of poison and electric types, so it was kind of annoying to use. But today we're using a very different Zerzura, actually a sharpened Zerzura. So I'm very, I'm gonna be interested about that. So here we have health and attack with a trait detox. This doodle heals from from the poison slash disease status effect instead of taking damage. So essentially we're able to just get a bunch of our health back per turn. I think it is one eighth of your health. I'm pretty sure it is one eighth of your health per turn. <laughs> And it makes it really, really nice to just heal every turn, and it's just helpful. And then with the moves here, we have Sharpen, Wing Slash, Fin Slash, and Jet Strike. So basically the idea here is we want to Sharpen, and then we want to click our two our two slashing moves here. Then we have Jet Strike to get uh, some clutch kills, hopefully. And that's kind of the whole idea with this thing, and we're just going to hope that it works out. I feel like that it would, and I want to, I want to see if it will work. Now with equipments, I have smoldering swag juice and fun. I kind of wanted to switch up my equipment lineup recently because recently I've just been doing like, like I've been doing stuff like, just like this, and it felt so generic. So I decided I just wanted to like switch it up as of recent. I want to try Fawn Sprout Tail more because I think it is it could be good because four to all your stats with no, um, like, nothing else is just kind of good. We have 38 extra attack, um, a 28 extra attack with what looks like 12 extra health or no not 12 8 extra health but yeah huh. anyhow i am excited hopefully you are as well and let us find out how strong zerzura actually is you know today is gonna be a good start when i immediately get disconnected okay and here we go into the first battle i'll just go live with agua because i just want to set up my b summon it looks like he has a few bug types so basically we're gonna get swarmed i'm a little bit worried but actually zerzer is not bad zerzer is actually absolutely cracked this game hmm we'll see though <laughs> hoping that he makes moves though he hasn't done anything yet come on i'm just not gonna open chat because I just want, I want to play, man. I wonder, though, if this is, this is good. This could be really, really good. Because that's clearly Awakened Spectatic, right? Metalytra, okay. 
We can outspeed that. We also have Sumouse, which is okay into his team, I guess. Let's be summon up. Okay, he hit and runs. I'm assuming now into... Uh, what would make sense is go into Abyssant and then Icy Bite on Voltatu's switch. That could work. In a way, if you wanted to. I'm curious on how the heck I'm going to be able to... Uh... Hmm. I have a lack of light resist, huh? <laughs> I have a very I have a large lack of light resist here. Glacial Ruby. Oh my. Are you gonna quick ice? Quick sting? Which one? Which one are you gonna click? Quick ice, quick sting? Which one? This was a very bad switch. Quick ice, okay. So let's go Zerzura then. Hello, my name's Zerzura. Alright, let's sharpen up. <clears throat> Low key after one sharp and we kind of win the game. Like, kind of. We have a lot of attack with it. Oh, you're not Ruby? I said Ruby! Okay. So there's another Glacigash. And what I'm not sure about is if it's freaking Ruby. I got pranked last time. So we're going to hope that this is actually Ruby. So let's hope it works out. Okay, they go into Frigale. I don't know if I want to do the same thing I've done before, where... I mean, I guess I can just spam B Summon at this point. Why not? Can't they Jet Strike? Definitely looks like that they are Ruby. Okay, I, they better freaking be Ruby. Am I good offensive this game? I can really look like in Tomo. I'll just... If I, I die, if I die, I die, right? Like, if I, if I get hit, I'm dead. He might careless on Voltatu, but luckily for Gale, it's utterly terrible right now because of the unfortunate... Oh. Okay, what is with everyone using good Ruby users and then not being Enchanted Ruby? What is with this? Like, what's the logic? I could do it immediately. Let me do it. Let's do it. Why not? Sharpen up. Are you... I forgot! <sighs> Again? Literally stop. Okay. Now this time, hopefully there's no people that are using good Ruby users and they're not using that item. I don't know. I'm mad about that. People are not using the right stuff. But hey, it's fine. Anyhow, I forgot Bird of Prey was an ability. So I just killed the, the, the Zerzura twice already. Great start, right? Great start. I swear I fought this exact person before and they are just annoying. But I can set up my stuff anyway and it doesn't really matter. Actually, that's 125 speed, right? That'd be max speed. Meaning that's the one other thing in this game that can actually outspeed. Um, Libel on a lead, yeah. But if I set up B summon, it means it's max speed, which means if it's physically max speed, I could probably kill the Jet Strike. <sighs> I'm not excited to fight this thing. Actually, isn't Zerzura pretty good into it? Zerzura can't break? It actually probably could break it. Um, I guess this goes Zerzura. I don't see why not. Fin Slash comes out. I take very low damage, and he actually crits me. I could go off of the assumption, like, I think, yes, he's switching, right? I don't see why he wouldn't. I would see Rip Torbent coming in here. Um, I feel like I could just go into Jest Whirl. I'm going to do that. <laughs> The existence of Grimantle is annoying because I can't really actually do anything. I could go, actually I go Terry now, right? <laughs> I 
Yeah, now I have an insanely good beast type of Oh, he actually... You pylon? Interesting. Uh... I guess I can fiery bite? That doesn't even kill? Really? Why would you not go Grimantle, though? People are confusing me. People are annoying me. All these plays you make are awful, but whatever. Uh, it's, wow, setting those up is annoying. I hate you. Sure, why not? I mean, honestly, this thing is good as long as I can deal with the Riptorvin, right? So let's fin slash and kill it. People are just making weird moves and they don't make any sense. Like, they don't make any sense to me. Why would you stay in against Jessro when I have Psycho Force, you know? Why would you not go into Germantle? I don't understand. Your logic is flawed. But whatever. Okay. Do you have Toxic Bomb? Is that what this is? Well, I don't know what I can really do. I can't really switch this in that much. I guess I just see if I live Toxic Bomb. I doubt it. <laughs> it is Toxic Bomb. And I'm diseased, so yeah. Okay, this time, I promise you, I will get this thing to do something. Huh. <sighs> okay, there is a Skadeen. I just feel like I need to get it in. I just need to kill the Voltatu, probably. We'll see. Okay, they go full tattoo, actually. This could be amazing. <sighs> what if I just tsunami immediately? What if I don't care about B-Summon? What if I just don't care about B-Summon? Oh, they have Chemical Cleave on Archipost or Electroslash on Archipost. They have one of the two. Hit and run. Okay. I could have set up B-Summon. Okay, they're gonna Shadow Lurk. We could go Jest Whirl. Let's go Jest Whirl. They wouldn't have Dark Stab, right? Would you have Dark? Not Stab. Would you have Dark Coverage or no? Now I have to be concerned about that. So, I like, guess Earth Surge, I guess? I don't see why not pretty good okay they go with that I do 25 I assume they're gonna want to go for the dark type move I this is fine they could also pursuit okay that's fine I don't see how pursuits not used more it's still a really 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 good move it's a very very good move it's just no one's using it okay uh let's shock therapy to heal Okay, so they go into Jira. Oh, this thing can set up Lingering. This is gonna be fun to deal with Lingering Poison all game. Okay. Oh, wait, you're not Refresh? Weird. Okay. Let's go Jest World then. Okay, yep, they set up Lingering. Alright, let's Enlightenment. It's just one of those few times where I don't actually have a way to stop um, lingering. Because usually I would have something. But I guess today I just decided lingering poison is bad. Usually I have a poison type though. <laughs> Unguarded comes out. Okay, just very, very low damage. He may. I don't know what he would have been predicting there. I guess what's nice is that Zerzura is pretty solid. Alright, let's hit and run then. What I'm annoyed at is if they stay in. But even then, I would think hit and run kills, even if he stays in, right? Okay. Uh, I think I just go Libel. There's literally... I, it's, it's dead whenever I send it in, right? So get it over with early I guess yeah I don't really know what I was meant to do there because every, every time I send it in it dies immediately I guess I go Terry then 
Well, that's pretty good for me. Now, you know I have Shatter and your speed is lowered. I outspeed you. I want to Venom Bite really badly on the Voltatu, right? I really, really want to Venom Bite. I'm going to Venom Bite. I really want to see if that'll work out for me. I don't see why he wouldn't do that, though. If he stays in, he might have assumed that he gets... I outspeed... He outspeeds. Which, actually, he could. Okay. Now, how do I beat this? I only have this, really. I need something to get rid of poison, but I don't have anything. Guess I can awaken and hex punch and kill it. I don't know how the heck I'm gonna win now because he has if he has thorns on the Jira. Oh, if he shadow lurks, I'm not gonna be happy. Okay, no. Okay, wait. Mm, I don't know. He could be Chemical Cleave in the back, saving it for Zerzura. It's kind of the only thing I could think that he would have. It. This is difficult. I can't really get it on. I can't do anything with this. It's kind of annoying. Like, I can't do anything with Zerzura. I just think, like, Poison and Electric is so hard to fight sometimes. Like, I have an Earth type, but it's definitely not a very good Earth type. Like, on this, like, specifically for what I want to do, it's not very good. Jet Strike comes out, yes. Alright, I guess we just do it. Send it in. And let's sharpen. That does a lot. Okay, but we get our sharpen off. Gets a magic defense boost. Oh, not defense boost. So we get our nice, sh we get our free sharpen. And we're healing now. Okay, so let's wing slash. Snap freeze, that does a lot. Oh yeah, that's super effective. Okay, but we actually kill Skadeen. And then we have jet strike. So let's wing slash and take this thing down. Okay, we took on the Skadeen. Not bad. I don't know, dude. Like, it, there's too much stuff I'm getting hit by. I don't like Zerzura because there's too much stuff, dude. I don't know if that's just me, but I hate it. Imagine if I got to plus six. He crits me. Unfortunate. Okay, but I got half on it. I have to go into this, right? And then this game is like, can I even beat Rotera, right? That's kind of what this game is now. Ambush would have to, yeah, he ambushes. I'm honestly not sure. Like, okay, if he goes Rotera, I'd have to live... And you're gonna hit and run, right? gonna have to hit and run nothing that I can do to win not at all There's, I can't fight poison I hate poison types yeah hit and run was just free it's only only move that he clicks there there's just no reason to click anything else not much that I can do I honestly kind of hate Zerzura I won't lie I know I'm probably not doing the best with it. I, I just don't like it. I do not like Zerzura. Just something about it. I just hate it. I I, I hate Zerzura. I hate it a lot. I, 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 I don't like it. I don't think I ever will like it. It's just so unfun to me, dude. I don't know. I don't know if it's just like... I know I'm definitely not using... The right things to help it do what it wants to do. I'm assuming Voltatu comes in and wants to have Conductor. Um. 
to deal with that? I'm not sure. I won't lie. I could just get my own bees up, actually. <laughs> and I can bee summon. Unless you're Jet Strike. Or Jolt. I, I just don't like Zerzura. I don't think I ever will. I, I don't like it, and I don't think I'll ever like it. Something about it is just not fun to me. I, I just, I hate it. It's not fun. To me, it's boring and not fun. But maybe, maybe someone out there has a fun, fun, fun time with Zerzura, and hey man, good for you. <laughs> like, good, good for you, buddy, that you're having a good time. But I, I hate it. And no one can tell me otherwise. Are you gonna over predict? Yep. I'm clicking that every time. I don't care if you go into Volta or not. I just I don't know. Like it's, it's so odd to me. I just don't really know what I want to do with it half the time, you know. And then when I have something that I actually want to do, I just I don't know. I just don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it and I never will. It's probably obvious that I'm doing this into the Tarionics. So you're just gonna aerial again or hit and run yourself. Oh, he's just gonna hit and run. That's kinda dumb. Why'd I do that? I have Venom Bite. Oh, I really want Tarionics alive then, huh? Oh, I really want Tarionics alive. Why did I do that? That was a terrible idea. Goodbye, Terry Onyx. Oh. Okay. That works out. I guess I Venom Bite here. <laughs> Venom Nom Nom. And I know that he's Conductor, so I'm free to click my other moves later. I feel like I just need a little bit more chip on this thing before I can actually start doing damage with my Sue Mouse. So we're gonna try to end up doing that. If we can get him to, I think each Icy Punch should be doing around 40% each. So I, I don't know if we actually end up killing it. I feel like that's the damage calcs though. <laughs> Is he over predicting my move? I just clicked immediately. Okay, nice. We take down the Voltatu there. Oh, and that's the one thing, or one of the two things that can actually stop and do really, really well against Zerzura. Hmm. Something just came to my head. Did you guys ever watch, like, I know everyone watched Veggie Tales, right? Did anyone ever watch the, like, Giant Fib? The Attack of the Giant Fib? against like Super Larry and Bumsleyberg. That just brought back memories. I don't know what it was, that just came to my head. Like, why did that come to my head? Just randomly. I don't know. Yeah, you don't have much for this. You're not wrong. You really don't have a lot to deal with this. Tarionix is very, very good. In this battle, it's very good. <laughs> Seam Knight switches in. Okay. Ooh, we could, we could actually use it. Actually, I think I first I go into this, then I hit run, then I go into Zerzura. Vague Vortex comes out. We take very, very low damage. That... Is that not Sapphire? It's not crayons, why would it be anything else but sapphire if it's not crayons? Is it the heal jelly one? No, that's sapphire. Mischievous. Okay, this is the mischievous one. <sighs> Boosting my attack so I get a little bit of extra damage on you switching out. Or on you switching in. Uh, okay, let's go Terry. What's nice about Terrionics here is that it doesn't really matter if I have to predict Steam Knight coming in, because my Savage Blow is gonna be doing around 20 to 30% to the Steam Knight, so I'm not against just spamming Savage Blow. 
I don't have to predict it coming in. Because I have Grammatal, Zerzura, and I can predict him predicting. So we're going to find out what he does. I just want Zerzura to come in and do something. I feel like it can do something in this endgame. I feel like that it can. It does a lot, dude. This might be our opportunity. It could be. But when it comes to the era kill, do we even kill era kill? Let's go. Let's go into it. All right. Let's find out. Does this work out well for us? What's our speed? I don't know if we actually outspeed the the guy. He goes Grimantle. Okay, we got our sharpen off. Oh, but you could have Toxic Bomb. He could have Toxic Bomb. Would he have Toxic Bomb? The one air type Grimantle that has Toxic Bomb? Every time I try to use Zerzer, I always fight, like, too many poisons and electric- I, I fight way too many of them. I it's like a curse to me. So you're- wait, you're not Toxic Bomb. Why do I not get up to plus six then? Could I not get up to plus six? Why not, right? Like, let me just get up to plus six then. If you're not Toxic Bomb. Oh god. Give me a defense boost. So I might live Venom Lacerate. I might live Venom Lacerate after the defense boost. I might. Electro? Oh my god, he gave me the perfect boost I needed. The, the fact he gave me defense boost there is the reason I lived. But does my Jet Strike kill? Does Jet Strike even kill in that range? Please. Oh my god. I did it. Finally. Sharpen Zerzura does something. I don't know. I don't like Zerzura. It's just... Something about it is not how I thought it would play out. You know, something... It's just not fun to me. Zerzura just feels so lame. I know this is Sapphire, so let's see if we can even get this kill. We're plus four. Like, plus four doesn't even kill Seam Knight, you know? I get it's the Seam Knight, but still, you know? Like, come on. I know this is, this has to be Sapphire, right? This has to be Sapphire. I mean, I can always Jet Strike to be safe. I don't know. I just don't like Zerzura. I don't think I ever will. And hey, that's fine. I don't have to like something. I can still look at it, but I'm just not going to like it. I just don't think Zerzura is fun. I don't regret doing the chain. I like doing chains. They're always fun. <clears throat> but... I won't say I regretted this one. I won't say that. <laughs> but yeah. Zerzura. And I think with that we can just wing slash. And that does end off the game. GG. Good game. Good. Good. Game. Well, I think with that, we can end this off. I stand by what I've been saying. How I just, I just don't like this doodle. I, I just don't like it. But hey, 
just because I don't like it doesn't mean you shouldn't give it a try. Maybe this will be one of your new favorite, like, surprise sets. But yeah, I kind of been enjoying these, like, whoa, funky, wonky sets I've been doing as of recent. You know, it kind of reminds me of how, what I used to do, where I would just make a bunch of wonky stuff. And that, that, that was fun. And then these were, these were very fun. The Jess Swirl and the, the Zerzura. But yeah, hope everyone enjoyed. And let me know if you guys used anything like this Zerzura set. But hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see everyone in the next one. Bye-bye.